Today, we are going to go over three different ways you can program slides in Odin 3. So the first one is going to be the most obvious and that is going to be the pre-recorded slide. So in Odin 3, if you open the key switch list, you will see a variety of pre-recorded slide articulations right here. So this means the slides were actually performed and that means they will sound real because they literally are real. They were recorded in two speeds, meaning slow and fast. So slow means you're going to first have a little bit of the note and then afterwards it's going to perform the slide. Whereas fast, the slide will activate basically instantly. So to give you an example right here, we have a very, very simple riff with two sliding key switches. And you will notice whenever these are played, the slide key switches will light up right here and the slides will be performed. So as you could see right here, up and right here, down. Now, one thing to keep in mind about a slide slow is that it will take a little while for them to kick in. So if you use a slide slow, but then you only give it like a split second to ring out, the slide will never happen. Which also means it's possible that the two speeds here, slow and fast, maybe don't fit your exact project. So what do you do if these pre-recorded slides aren't the ideal speed for your specific performance? That's when you use the other sliding techniques. Let's take this very, very simple melody, for example. What if you wanted this note to slide into the last one? The first most obvious option would be to use the key switch and then just have it play. However, you will quickly notice that, hey, since this is pre-recorded, I can't actually define what node I'm sliding towards. You could say I'm sliding up, but where do I quit exactly? The trick is going to be to let it slide and then have the next note not have pick attack. So it sounds like you performed a slide and then just ended at that note. One way to completely nuke the pick attack attack without having to automate any knobs because that's also possible. You could just automate the soften attack to destroy the attack on impact. But what's easier is to just place a pull off key switch on this note you're sliding towards. So once again, we are using a pre-recorded slide and then using a pull off key switch to get rid of attack. That sounds really convincing. However, what if that doesn't work out for your specific project? Maybe it doesn't sound quite right for your performance. That's when we use the auto slide function. So as you know, in Odin 3, we had the auto slide function right here where you would simply turn it on and then if two notes overlap, like right here, the note will slide automatically from one to the next. Now in Odin 3.1, we added a key switch called auto slide that will allow you to perform this type of auto slide without having the function on. This way you can have notes overlapping without any sliding and then when you really need the auto slide you can just trigger it on demand. So right here we have the auto slide key switch. As you can see it is active from the very first note and it stays active until the end of the note we're sliding to. And then because once again I wanted to nuke all the pick attack I once again have the pull off key switch right here active on that second note. So with using the auto slide function once again it's very important that these are overlapping and you can change how quickly this slide happens using this slide speed dial. So let's see what that sounds like. Once again, the slide was really cool, but maybe you wanted it slower. Or maybe you wanted it way faster. I personally really liked it around the 70-ish mark. These are going to be the two sliding techniques that I'm usually going to gravitate towards wherever possible. However, there is one more little cheat code. Now, this one is definitely less ideal, but sometimes you have to do what you have to do. And it is still an option. And that is manually building your slide. So right here, you can see that I have actually played my first note and then the note I'm sliding towards. And then I added a bunch of notes in between as if my finger is going to slide from fret to fret. Now, if you were to play this without any key switches right here, you would have pick attack on every single one. And that's the last thing we want with a slide. So instead, once again, I'm using the pull off key switch on every single note following the first one to get rid of all of that attack. And then the resulting slide it sounds like this. 
there's definitely still some of that weird chromatic vibe that doesn't always sit right. But I find that when the gap between the two notes isn't too large, I can usually get away with this. Now, of course, ideally, we are always sticking to the actual pre-recorded ones. They do sound realistic because they are real. Then the auto slide is going to get very close as well, in my opinion. And this is mostly a last resort. Though depending on the gap between the notes, this can still sound very realistic. These are the three sliding techniques you can use with Odin 3. Let me know if there's any other tutorials you would like to see and happy producing.